So I'm going to go ahead and do the first problem of the motion problems here uh, as an example here, how to set this up. Um, for all of these, we need to uh, keep in mind the most important uh, understanding here is that rate times time equals distance. Or uh, I like to say distance equals rate times time. I remember that one easily because it's dirt uh, uh, as a way of remembering it here. Okay, so um, two cars traveled in opposite directions from the same starting points. The rate of one car was 10 kilometers per hour less than the rate of the other. After four hours, the cars were 600 kilometers apart. Find the rate of each car. So I like to set up a table uh, with three columns, one for rate, time, and distance, and then we're gonna have two rows for the two different cars. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. So there's my table all set up. I've got car one, I've got car two, I've got rate, time, and distance in three different columns. Uh, I need to keep remembering that rate times time equals distance. So when I go to set up my equation, that's gonna do it. Um, I need to analyze the problem here. So I'm gonna say, let's see, they're asking me to find the rate of each car. Sometimes that's the variable that I'm going to do find, which actually in this case, it's going to be. So I'm going to actually put in um, for one of these cars, we know that one, one car was 10 kilometers per hour less than the rate of the other. All right, so we could have one car as R, one is 10 kilometers per hour less, so that's gonna be subtracting 10. All right, uh, the time, uh, in this case here, uh, after four hours, the cars were 600 kilometers apart. All right, so we know for both of these, we were traveling for four hours. Uh, we also know that they were going in opposite directions. Um, before I actually, even though the distance says 600 kilometers per hour, per, apart, I'm not gonna put that in the distance column. Um, because I'm always going to put in in here what my rate times my time is. So I know that distance is rate times time. In this case, it's going to be four times the R. And I know for the other one, the distance is rate times time, which is four times parentheses R minus 10. Now, sometimes these distances will be equal to each other. But what we know in this particular case is that the total distance is 600 kilometers apart between them. So in other words, the sum of those two distances, or 4r plus 4 times r minus 10, uh, is going to be 600 uh, kilometers. And then I have my algebraic equation. Uh, you guys know what, what to do with the rest of this. Uh, go ahead and solve that. Make sure that you check it to make sure the things fit back into the original situation. Write your answer in a complete sentence and you are good to go. I forgot one more thing that I should have done in here. I needed to define my variable. Uh, so make sure that you have, you let uh, R, uh, you explain what R is going to equal in this case. And this is not so obvious as the age problems in here. So we do need to define it in here. Let R equals to the rate of the faster car.